how red wine is made. Wine making is an art, a true masterpiece in a bottle. Winemakers bring their passion and dedication to every vintage and wine they create. When the grapes are optimal ripeness, they are picked mechanically or by hand in order to choose the best cluster for the wine. The grapes are delivered to the vineyard's canteen, where they will be separated from the stems and crushed through mechanical presses. The juice resulting from the crush is then transferred to the tank and the fermentation process begins when yeast is added to the natural sweet grape juice, which chemically turns the juice into alcohol. As red wine obtains its color, tannins and complexity from skins and seeds of the grapes, the juice must remain in contact with the solids during the stage called maceration. After fermentation is complete in red wines and the desired color and flavors are achieved, the skins, seeds and pulp are separated from fermented grape juice. With the end of alcoholic fermentation, Solids, residues, organic matter and yeasts are settled at the tank's bottom. To prevent undesirable flavors and aromas from being passed on the wine, the must is transferred to a clean tank in a process called racking. The wine is sometimes fined and filtered to remove any unwanted particles. Some winemakers choose to skip this step, resulting in a cloudier and oftentimes more rustic style wines. The fining process consists of adding animal, vegetable or mineral protein substance to the wine, which will retain and drag the particles to the bottom of the tank. The most used are casein, bentonite, egg white, vegetable proteins extracted from potatoes and peas, fish gelatin and eating glass, a substance obtained from dry fish bladders. However, the quantities are minimal, around 5 to 30 ml per 100 liters of wine, not impacting the quality of the final product. Most wines aged in oak barrels are red wines to develop more complex and balanced flavors and aromas. Red wines that are consumed young undergo maturation in stainless steel tanks so that their freshness, aromas and fruit character are preserved. The wine is then transferred to the bottles, where they will age for a few months or many years before being labeled and sold. However, some wines are bottled, labeled and ready to enjoy. <laughs>